All right, guys. Let's try this again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We're gonna do part three of upload vulnerabilities. The last one, Task Eleven Challenge. Let's see if I can get this correct. It's been lagging lately. So first, you load the web page. This is Jewel, and then it's the same thing. Slash trying to find slash var how to get to it. And uh, it says you need help. There's a series of hints here, and there's also a video. And the hint says yes, successfully upload shell, but cannot get to it. Um, hint: this is not a usual way of executing. Try another method by to bypass the number filter. Okay. What the? That's not good. this works all right hint number one emirate 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 have you tried go busting the site use a standard script wordless and then it says while that run look at the source code the home page so you can find static files being included okay so let's uh, stop here let's go buster this website so we're trying to find the directories well that's going it says look at the source code so right click we will page source and you can see there's these scripts that's nothing that's nothing so as you can upload.js It says checks file extension, so it's a JPEG file. So, it's going to be important later on. And then it says hint 3, you will notice that the file upload only JPEG files and that the background images are stored in content. Try uploading a legitimate JPEG file. Bear in mind the size, uh, size filter. Then use the custom word list in the room to find your image. So we click upload. See, there's it's all, I'm only select JPEG. So and this file successfully uploaded. Now next it says uh, use the custom word list in the room to find your image. So it's, it's right here. Download task file and open it up. So upload vulnerability word list. Let's edit, select all, right click, copy, uh, close this out, clipboard, paste, and we're going to open a new tab on there, and then we're going to nano upload vulnerability worthless. TXT. I hope I got that right. Yeah, upload for me. This and then right click, paste. Oh. There you go. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Exit. Save. US. So we got the reverse shell. That was from the previous task and upload home very worthless. Okay, so hint number four use Ghostbuster X switch and then we're looking for a JPEG file. So hint number five, we're gonna use another Ghostbuster. So we're gonna copy this. Oh, there you go. Read through JavaScript client side filters what they're looking for use the techniques time task 7 to bypass these filters do not try to magic number bypass directly if you receive 
HTTP 3.0 response code when attempting JavaScript research what this particular means and how to prevent it from occurring. Okay. Uh, let's go. So it says content, that's where it goes, right? Check it right here. So that content page.file. Oh, it's uh, there's admin, right? Admin. Okay, nothing is going on there. Okay, let's try again. Nope. What does that say? That's a reminder use this form to activate modules from the slash modules directory. So, nope. Okay. All right, let's uh, stop this. We're going to use the new GoBuster script. All right, clear this out. Now, we're going to use this list, but remember to slash content, because that's where the file is being uploaded. We're trying to see what JPEG files in that the directory. That's why the, the content, slash content directory is important. So as you can see, is coming all right next is javascript client side as you may get a filter and paste try use techniques from task 10. so first it says use techniques taught in task 7. so what is task 7? client side curl ah yes so we're trying to see if we can delete this. But, all right, so settings, request interception rule, edit, and I am going to delete the JS. Okay, this should work. All right. Intercepts on. Firefox turn burp on. All right. So right click, do intercept response. Okay. Uh, access Orange Express. So let's see if I can. For it. Nope. For it. Do you intercept this response? Let's see. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. Let's see. <clears throat> Server side using M M I M E type contracting. Let's see. Let me guess. You uploaded a shell. Look for the contents, but it's sh still showing not activating. So the server is running on no S. Take a look. And then the hint 10 of is telling you execute modules directory but your file. So using alright, so the walkthrough is so it did GoBuster use that. 
then go bust through the list. There's a page admin directory. Yeah, file you upload will end up in content with a random three letter file number. Okay, so got one right here. Go to the home page, use Burt Suite to remove client side filter as demonstrated in task seven. Okay. Let's see, let's try again. Forward. All right, let's see, intercept this. That didn't work. Okay, let's try again. All right, I'm gonna clear this out. Control F5. Intercept, let's see. Okay. I hope this works. Nope. Okay, so I think it's this one. Yeah, file check. Check file size, check magic number and file extension. We're going to delete that. All right, forward, forward. All right, I think that's done. So delete that. So if the server is using Node.js by X Power Header will show you. Download the Node.js J River show here. Oops. So right click. So we're only. So it says download reverse show here and fill your own IP and chosen port and call it shell file.jpg. Okay, so go right here. So nano shell jpg. So this is the no script. So all these ores, you don't really... need it. Okay. So client side... I'm put one, two, three, four. And then the IP address is the attack IP is minus 10.10.110. Uh, and that's right here. That's my attack box ISP. And then exit save. Let's so I have my shell JPG. All right. The next use Goldbuster wordless and roof fudge upload. It's already did that. Notice the X switching, adding JP file extension to each request. Have a look at each of those files in your web browser. One of them will be your shell. Remember the name of this file, start netcastner of your chosen port number. Okay. 
like so. All right, it's almost done, guys. So you can actually check this out. So content, let's say ABH. I see why. Got it. That man slash. So you can't see it. You have to use dot dot. Got it. So I dot dot content. So a b h dot j p g. Interesting. Module does not exist. Okay, so there's five of these. So now, I'm going to do this. back upload the shell jpeg right here file successfully uploaded so currently there's one two three four five right so if you go bus again be the same. So ABH, you can net cat, net cat scan. So what you can do is NC LV and P one, two, three, four. It says right here, have a look at each files in your web browser and one of them will be your shell. Remember the name of this file and start net cat listening on your own machine using a chosen port number. Then go admin page and type in content name the file. So example might be content ABC. You should receive a reverse shell. Okay. So I'm at netcan is scanning again. Check out check this out guys. So my previous scan has five JPEGs. There's ABH, ABH, and look at this FCH. So that will be, that should be the shell. But you cannot go directly. What's it? SC H. So you cannot display, right? So you have to go to admin dot dot content. How to type this right? Dot dot slash content. Slash fj h dot jpg. 
FCH. Okay, this should be correct. Secret. Wait. It's off. Okay, there we go. Listening. guys but I'm not sure Let's try again. Let's see. Let's see. Should work, guys, but I'm not sure. Should be crying. Wait, CD bar. Oh, my God, I did connect. Sorry, guys. That's it. That was duh. That's it, guys. So So let's recap. You could do this, this walkthrough is uh, first you go buster the, the Jewel website. Then you see the content and admin. Then you upload a JPEG. Uh, then you download the task file and then go buster with the word list. Uh, use burp suite to stop the client side delete uh, what would they call it delete the filters and after that you upload the the note.js reverse show as a file jpeg and you go buster again you find the different file from the five jpegs then you go to admin and use this one dot dot slash content and use the knit cat and shoot get the answer so i already did have it all right that's it guys i hope you like this video Give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. It took me a while to uh, do this and uh, a couple of times to upload this video. And then uh, task 12 conclusion, just follow the steps, uh, real basic, and we'll complete it. And that's it guys. If you 
you can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And you go to the learn learning paths. You should complete what fundamentals. So so far, I did all the videos introduction to cybersecurity, police security, web fundamentals. We're gonna start at CompTI Pen Test Plus. So another easy module. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Till next time.